Hey, it's Lobo. And the cheese. We are at headquarters, Beer Kate. And we're gonna go inside and play some cool retro video games, try some handcrafted drinks, and some craft beer. Let's go! Come on! We are here with Mark, the owner of headquarters, Beer Kate. Now, this is a pretty cool concept for a bar. Tell us about it. Well, what we set out to do is build a great bar and fill it with 37 awesome vintage arcade games. And we felt like if we built a place, a bar that would stand on its own and then added that dimension of cool vintage arcade games, we'd have a hit on our hands that I think we do. Some of the games around here I remember, some I don't. Now how did you go about picking all the different games that are in here? Well, it's a work in progress. We're, we're actually going to be rotating the games all the time. It was a challenge to get 37 of the exact games we wanted. There's eight or nine in route right now or in the shop, and we're gonna constantly be rotating the games to keep it fresh and exciting for uh, for years to come. These are all original games from vintage arcade games, no replications. We didn't want any of the the current redos because they don't play the same, they don't look the same, they don't feel the same. You can get a game that has a hundred arcade games on one game, but the joystick's different, the buttons are in different positions. We want to bring some of that nostalgic value back to, uh, I think that's what people are really going to appreciate, playing the games they remember playing when they were kids. The only game I've ever played is Pac-Man. I don't know why, I don't know where I've been my whole life, but Pac-Man, that's the and only Pac one, or Mrs. Pac-Man. I'll yeah. settle for Mrs. Pac-Man. She's right? cuter and has a bow, so. I was always an Asteroids guy. Why do you love this game so much? Because as a kid, I stood at the arcade and played this for hours because you always had to do better and it never ended. It always went on, so I could play for hours. Okay, game on. Let's do it. You gotta rotate the little guy and you gotta shoot all the rocks. That's all it is. Boo, boo, boo. Get it, get it. You play, you play. Give it a shot. Watch out for the big rocks. Wait, I don't get it. Uh-oh. Oh, I just oh. Oh. This is stressful. This is why I think <laughs> video games are stressful. But this is a really, really cool feature here. Check this out. For all of you germaphobes like me, after you play the game, there is hand sanitizer conveniently located right here at every game. Ah, clean, clean. I don't have to freak out anymore. See, when I was a kid, there was usually chunks of food on the game controller, and I didn't care. We are going to play Miss Pac-Man, which is A, my favorite game, and B, not only can you play games, drink beer here, but they have very, very special beef jerky. So, game on. Winner gets the beef jerky sack. So how do you die? So these little monster guys come and eat you that look like ghosts. But you have to eat all the little white dots. Duh, this is like everyone's favorite game. Oh my god. You are crazy good at this. I'm gonna pass this level. Oh my god, this is so stressful. I think you already beat me. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, oh, see, I blew it. No, I'm, you didn't. I did because they're too far away. And I just ruined it. And now I'll go up to eat them and they'll change. Oh, man. 6,000 and I got 1,400. Winner takes all. HQBeerCade.com is the website. HQBeerCade.com. You can see a list of all the games they have, a list of all the drinks they have, and a list of the amazing... Uh, beef jerky? Beef jerky that only one of us is trying. Sorry, For, I got lost eating my beef jerky. It's great beef jerky <laughs> or so I hear. Check out NudeHippo.TV. I'm Ashley Lobo. And I am the cheese. Game over. Game over, man. Game on. Sits, boo-boo, sits. Good dog. Good night, Mr. Walters. Tony, can you shut up? Meow.